Our Target 8 investigation after the fall continues right now at 6. Two Grand Rapids lawmakers say the change is needed after seeing our report last night on how courtroom doors are closed to survivors of child sexual abuse by priests. Target 8 investigator Ken Colker continues the investigation from the Capitol tonight. The lawmakers we talked to say the timing could be right this year for legislation that would open the courtroom doors for victims of child sexual abuse. State Senator Winnie Brinks and Representative David LeGrand, both Democrats of Grand Rapids, say they were disappointed last year when similar so-called window legislation failed. There's no question there's a price to pay here, and that uh, there will be folks who come and argue to us that it's uh, too high a price, and uh, I think that the argument of the victims is stronger than that. Other states have opened windows for survivors of sexual abuse no matter how long ago temporarily eliminating the statute of limitations and leading to multi-million dollar settlements between the Catholic Church and victims. A bill passed by the Michigan Senate last year would have opened a short window for survivor, but the Catholic Church and others lobbied against it, arguing it would be difficult to defend against decades-old allegations. The final bill passed by the House and signed into law kept the window shut on survivors, with one exception. The victims of Michigan State University, Dr. Larry Nasser. You know, what you saw passed last term was the best we could get out of that legislature that we had elected then. We've got new members now, and I think there may be more of a willingness to take a look at it. The attorney featured in the movie Spotlight after helping expose abuse and cover-ups in the Boston Catholic Church says Michigan needs to give survivors a chance at justice. That should be done in Michigan. It's, it's a no-brainer in so many ways. And why would anybody oppose that? Because of their own economic self-interest, that's why. Representative LeGrand, the ranking Democrat on the House Judiciary Committee, says he plans to work with both sides on possible legislation, though he says it's not just a Catholic issue. I, I absolutely think that this is something that um, there are good people on both sides of the aisle. We're going we're gonna to look at this issue thoughtfully. The impact of such legislation could be huge for the Catholic Church alone. The Attorney General's office say there could be as many as a thousand victims of pre-sexual abuse over the decades. In Lansing, Ken Colker, 24 Hour News 8.